Hey guys, thanks for stopping on in for today's MLB pick video play for May 31st, 2018. In today's video, talking about this National League East matchup between the Washington Nationals and the Atlanta Braves. Going to give our lean on where we see the better value standing on the money line. The road team here, the Nationals, coming in as slight dogs at about plus 107 in Washington. They've gained a lot of ground in the standings over the last couple weeks of action. And part of that is because Washington has gone against a very manageable schedule as of late. Things starting off with that home series against the Padres and then back-to-back -back series this past week on the road against the Marlins and on the road against the Orioles, two of the worst teams in baseball. So the Nationals definitely taking care of business against these more manageable opponents. Now heading into their third straight road series in a row and taking on a much more capable opponent. It'll be interesting to see if Washington can continue on this streak that we've been seeing them as they've risen to the top spot in the NL East standings with a mark of 32 and 22 overall. Today, Washington going to be sending out 31-year-old righty Tanner Roark, who's been a very consistent force in this rotation. He's made 10 starts, sitting on a 3.17 ERA in his last outing on the road against Miami, going seven innings, giving up four hits, one earned run, two walks, two five strikeouts so coming into this one here against a very capable Atlanta offense and this Braves team overall this year they faced one of the toughest schedules in baseball and it's pretty impressive what they've been able to do taking everything into account a very tough schedule up to this point and the fact that coming into the year not a whole lot was expected out of this up-and-coming group it looks like they're a year ahead of schedule right now standing 32 and 23 overall in Atlanta. They have been very impressive offensively, fourth in the majors in run scored, and their pitching has also been pretty respectable, 10th in the league in total earned run average today. The Braves going to be sending out what has been one of the best pieces of their rotation through his 10 starts this year, the 24-year-old lefty, Sean Newcomb, sitting on a 2.75 ERA, and Newcomb had that tremendous stretch of games where he wasn't giving up any runs, but in his last outing at Fenway Park against a very dangerous Boston team, Newcomb was roughed up a bit and had to be pulled early. But prior to that, he went six innings against Miami, giving up one earned run, six innings again against Miami, zero earned runs, and he went six innings against Tampa Bay on the road, zero earned runs, and he went seven innings on the road against the Mets, giving up zero earned runs. So those were his prior four starts to that showing in Fenway. So Newcomb definitely showing some really consistently solid stuff through that stretch of time. And you can give the young guy a little bit of a pass. Going on the road into Fenway can be an intimidating situation. Going against that Boston team who has a very dangerous offensive attack. So it'll be interesting to see how Newcomb bounces back here today on his home field against an opponent that he's definitely faced in the past within the division. So it should be a little bit more comfortable with this matchup here against the Nationals. See if he can get things back on track. So in terms of this starting pitching matchup, fairly even situation. Maybe you give the slight edge to Newcomb in terms of his ceiling and maybe an edge to Roark in terms of consistency. And then the Braves, they have a lot on the line here just mentally trying to reclaim the lead in the division. They're getting this game at home against the Nationals who have just taken a half game lead over Atlanta. So that also kind of plays on their side. And then the Nationals going into their third straight road series, which can have a little bit of a fatiguing factor. It'll be interesting to see how that plays itself out. But with everything taken into account, we feel like the home team, the Atlanta Braves on the money line at minus 117, feels like the better value play for us. So that's where we're going to go on the Braves side with the money line. That is our play for today, guys. Again, if you're interested in more picks, you can get all of those over at stumpthespread.com. Link down in the video description. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more, and we hope to see you guys back here for tomorrow's video. Bye.